Well, hello people. For those of you familiar with lathes, you may well recognize um, this cabinet here. It uh, belongs to a Myford ML7. I don't know how clear this picture is going to come out, but if it's reasonably clear I'll put it up on YouTube for you all to watch as you can see here I've um, taken it back to the bare metal I've um, basically done that by hand using one wallpaper scraper and one rather shagged wire brush but it's taken a back a reasonable job. Um, I still have to do inside. I don't know if you can see inside there or not. It looks quite dark in the viewer here. But it's still painted a, a sort of lime green colour. Which um, wouldn't be a bad colour I suppose. But it had been really poorly painted but by a hand brush. Um, so that's all got to come out yet. Uh, you can see the original grey in the back corner there, possibly. Um, basically, it was originally grey. Uh, the outside front here had, had, had various different layers or different colours of paint. But it's all back to the bare metal now. Uh, showing some signs of rust, but in, in general the cabinet's quite good condition, uh, considering its age. The sheet metal right at the bottom there is more rusty you know obviously where the ground's been damper and um, yeah you know I, I did that in in about five or six hours both the front and the back um, my plan now is to maybe see how much it's going to cost to get shot blasted with a fine grit so that it doesn't damage the surface of the metal and then possibly get it uh, uh, some anti fouling or a red oxide paint to put on it so that it prevents further corrosion of the metal um, and once that's done of course it will um, be resprayed in the traditional Myford grey uh, one thing to note however um, is here on the back of the cabinet I'll just tilt it forward a bit if we had all to see there is now a non-standard hole right here where my finger points. I don't... Well, this was where the 240 power cable came out. But I don't think that's um, standard due to the burr that's on the outer face of, or the outer surface of this sheet. This over here is more likely the, the standard um, place for the power cable. And indeed the uh, the cable that ran to the motor did come through a grommet mounted in this hole. Uh, there is a little bolt here. And then there's two holes here and here. The the purpose of which I, I don't know. But before I removed the paint there seemed to be a, an outline of a, a sticker or some plaque possibly containing a serial number or some identification plate or something i i would like to find out about that and maybe get that restored if possible because i i do want to restore this back to um original condition um another point of interest or well interest i say uh, well something to note anyway is the inside of this um Oh, words lack me for the moment, but the the inside of this um, D cup or well, sort of angular facing has been filled with a block of wood. I didn't notice that initially until I chipped all the paint off, but it is in fact on all four corners. Uh, that's too dark now in there as well and indeed on the the other two so that's the cabinet uh, basically 
and my plans for it. The uh, original Myford plaque would mount here. I do still have that, or I have received that with the with the um, cabinet. It's in showing a little bit of um, misuse. I believe that this possibly may have been riveted on at some point in the past, and then they've used a grinder just to grind the heads of the rivet off to remove the plate. Likely it'll get access to the switch on the front of the plate for powering the, the lathe. Uh, I have this the, the switch and uh, all the cabling required and indeed the the, um, the switch lever here uh, well I want to call it a lever the knob I suppose yeah yeah okay for now for now um, <clears throat> right on to the the piece de resistance I suppose the Myford ML7 I have one here she seems like to be to be in quite good condition. Um, uh, I'm rather pleased with it, but somebody again has taken a paintbrush and um, given everyone a good coating with this lime green paint. So that's all got to come off. Um, I'm concentrating on the cabinet first. Once the cabinet is complete, I would quite like to find or manufacture a drip tray. Um, to have mounted on these four holes in the cabinet here and here and here and here uh, drip tray and then I'll, I'll need to locate a uh, two feet for the lathe so that um, she is sufficiently raised above the drip tray for easy operation of the hand wheels um, and at that point then I'm going to start on the lathe, you know, checking the motor out, refurbishing what needs to be done. Everything seems reasonably good, the bearing seems solid, the gears look quite good there, no missing teeth certainly anyway. A little lateral play possibly, but that, I think that could be quite well, I don't know if that is normal actually. That might need to it'll need to be looked at, I suppose, and, and ascertained what needs to be replaced. Um, there's a few things missing. The the um, the retaining screw on the front here is gone, and the and the back plate behind it. Uh, so that will need to be sourced. Um, I think the the gear cover has a non-standard uh, bolt holding it in place there. And there's a few other little bits of bobs. This here has a shaft sticking out, or a bolt with a seized nut on it. I don't know what the purpose of that originally was. Um, so there could be quite a few little wee minor, well I say minor, but quite a few um, structural things that need to be repaired or replaced. I'm hoping that the lathe is okay. It'll take a bit of work I think, but uh, oh, I've got the time at the moment and I'm quite keen to get it done. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's it at the moment. Everything is free on the lathe. The, the table moves uh, freely. Quite a lot of slack there actually. Almost, is that maybe two revolutions before she starts moving on the, the worm. The cross travel area seems fine. She's quite tight, in a little bit of play maybe, quite a lot of play there actually, but a little look at it, you know, I haven't spent any time looking at it yet, but it all seems relatively free, which may or may not be a good thing I suppose, but 
yeah so I don't know how this video is going to turn out I'll um, I'll take it home and review it on the computer before I actually bother posting it and uh, I'll update you as the work progresses so for now that's that's episode one finished until next time